Hello Aces and welcome to part 2 of the Beechcraft 1900D tutorial. So, after I released the other tutorial, I actually did some more research on the plane and I've also looked it up a little, like looked at pictures of it more. And I've realized that there is a few changes that I have to make to this design in order for it to be a bit more accurate. And I also have left off a, quite a bit, well, a little bit of details as well. So. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to actually be putting those details and those little changes that I've done on. And I'm also going to do a complete interior build of this plane. Now, there is going to be a part 3 releasing a little later on. And that will actually cover different airlines that you can make it. So I'll actually be doing different liveries as well. So if you have any livery requests of what kind of airline you would like to see that operated this uh, plane, Please let me know down in the comments, and we will. I will take a look at them and try to do them so I can bring them to you guys. So, anyways, so after with uh, with a few changes done, this is so this is the Beechcraft that we just did on the tutorial. So here is the one with more detail. So I'm gonna go over all of the changes that I've done to this one that we're going to apply to this to make your Beechcraft look even more accurate and much better looking than even what it was originally in the original tutorial in this tutorial so anyways let's go over the changes okay so for the first bit these are more add-ons uh, I basically have added item frames so like actual lights to the where the uh, front wheel is and I've also added some right where the um, wings are so like on this nether brick thing that we placed there's a uh, lights there. Now there are supposed to be landing lights or I think they're more navigation lights but unfortunately for those I can't really place them because we don't have I wish we had red and green slabs but uh, you could also just use item frames for that I will show you how to do that. Uh, on the winglet I've added this little thing this is for like a I think an air temperature um, thing where it kind of regulates the temperature and makes the air flow over the wings or something. I'm not actually sure what that's for but it was just on the plane that I saw. So for the next bit of changes, we come under the engine. So before, how we had it, so if I just go to my old one, it was like, well, this one here. It was like this big opening right here. So I've realized that it's a little more closed off. It's not that big. So I've actually turned the, the block into an upside down stair and did a quartz slab. So we'll be doing that as well. I've added a couple antennas to the top and I've also flattened the roof completely and added a little bit more to the tail. Now, coming to the tail, uh, these little things that we placed in the tutorial, I actually had these in the wrong place. They're actually supposed to be more towards the end of the tail wing, so I've actually moved, we'll be moving those as well. Another thing that I've completely left off of the tutorial is there's these like flaps or these extra little bit of, yeah, flaps or wings that go down here. So I've actually added them right here. So we'll be adding that on as well. Now, one thing I also, uh, oh, and I've also changed, I've also changed a little bit of the tail. I've added an extra block and stuff, slab and everything. We'll be doing all this. So, if you wanted this plane landing, here is what the the plane looks like with the landing, like with the flaps all down. So, as you can see, it actually d makes it look really, really cool. So... So yeah, if you want to do, if you want to modify and change your Beechcraft to make it even more accurate, you're going to need item frame, glowstone, white wool, quartz slab, qu stone slab, uh, cobblestone stair, iron bars, quartz stair, and black wool. Now, another thing we're going to do after we detail the plane is I'm actually going to do a full interior build as well. Now, if you've already done your interiors for your Beechcraft, then you don't have to worry about this part. For those, but for those of you who want to copy exactly what I have, I will show you how to do the interior of it. But first, we're going to get on to these little details, and then we'll do that at the end. So, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to add the lights on it first. So you're going to come right to the front where you got the front wheel. You're going to add an item frame on here with a glowstone right on the... Uh, right on the on that and then you are also going to add an item frame here put glowstone in it and an item frame here and put glowstone on that now if I don't actually know if this actually works if you place glowstone on item frames let's go check this so if I go to night only let's see if it will actually light 
No, unfortunately it does not light. Um, I don't know why it doesn't actually probably should, but unfortunately it does not give you any light. So, yeah, that's, that's a little bit of a shame, but you know, it's there for uh, the realism. So, the next change we're going to go is if you come to the engines where we got this like intake, you are going to delete the slab and put a replace it with a stair, and then you're going to place a quartz slab on top of that as well. So we're going to do the same thing here. You're going to come to the bottom, you're going to replace that slab with a stair, and then place a slab on top, just like that. So that is what it should look like. So now for the wing tips, oh, and you will actually be needing end rods as well. You're going to place an end rod at the very tip of the wings here, uh, on, on the wing on the winglets. So you're going to place them on both sides. So now we're going to make, if you wanted the plane in a landing position, and you wanted it, like, we're going to place the landing flaps. So just for that, you're going to grab your stone brick st slabs, and this is going to be very easy. You're just going to come down by one, and you're going to go one, two, three, and then you're going to do the same thing here, one, two, three, and right here, just where this two is, you're going to go one, two. So that's what it looks like if you wanted it in a landing position. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. So you're going to go three. You're basically just tracing over what you have here and just going down by one. And then right here, you just go one, two. So there you go. So there is what it looks like with the landing flaps on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put these little um, flaps, I guess, on the very bottom of the plane. These are a little tricky to do. Um, so I'm going to uh, walk you through the steps of how to do it. So, and then we're gonna c we're just gonna change the the tail part, and then we'll do the antennas and all that stuff. So, but I'll show you how to do this part. This part is a little tricky, so uh, just uh, bear with me and pay attention closely, because uh, yeah, it can be a bit difficult. Okay, so for the little flaps underneath the plane, this is a bit of a tricky part. I did kind of go over it, and it's going to be a little difficult to explain, but I'm going to try my best to do it. So if you come right to the bottom where we have this four block, so one, two, three, four, like this row of four from this slab, uh, you're going to actually cut this slab out, and you're going to place a uh, block here, and you're going to replace a block right here as well. And I believe you are going to leave this. Yes, you're going to leave the very back. But this is going to come out one, two, and then one, two. So you should have like something like this. Or no, no, actually, no, you're not. Never mind, you're not going to delete this slab. So you're going to. You're going to leave it like this. But it's actually going to come right here. So you're going to delete this slab, and then you're going to come down with your blocks like this, and then this is going to go 1, 2, and 3, or 1, 2. So you're going to delete this slab, and this is going to be a 2 here, and then 1, 2, like that. Now I just want to make sure it's a 2, but, oh, oh, okay, I see how it goes. So it's actually not here, there's actually going to be a slab in here. So yeah, you can see this is a bit of a tricky part, so... There's going to be a slab here, so you're gonna, there's going to be basically the, where you got those two slabs, there's going to be a gap in between and then another slab here. This is going to add on to the back here, and this is going to also add on to the back, so it kind of looks like it's in a little bit. And then this is going to, does this join up to the top? I think there, yeah, there's a two here, so it should just be like this. And they're going to add one more to the top of that. And then you're going to add another one, and one coming down. Hmm, I don't actually think I'm building this right here. So it should be... Oh, okay, wait, we are, okay, never, okay, I'm just looking at it wrong. It's actually these two. I was just getting confused if we actually have to add two. So we, it's just this, this one here and the slab we have to add. Okay. Yeah, I was just like a bit confused as to what I was actually supposed to do. So, so yeah, just add one block here and then add a slab there. So that actually finishes that one part. So now we'll do the other side. 
So then you're just going to add one block here and one slab here. So yeah, this makes it easier. Like that's actually wasn't actually that hard. It's just me trying to figure out what to do to build it. So but there, there, there you guys got your flaps now. So if we come up to the tail where we got this uh, little piece right here, you're going to actually delete that. And where it's going to be relocated is where you got this ending bit right here. So you got this nether brick move in by one and this is where it's going to be placed and then you're going to place a uh, cobblestone stair upside down just on like that and then you're going to do the same thing here so get rid of this and then you are going to place a slab there you're going to yeah, you basically make a double slab and then you're going to put a your cobblestone stair just like that and then coming right here you're going to delete this stair you're going to go you're going to have a one here and then you are going to add a quartz slab to the end of this. And then you are also going to add a block here. So it should just look like this. So it should look overhang. So now another thing I did was I, I took all of this ceiling out and I completely made it flat with the plane. And then right here you're going to add a stair and then a slab just like that. So now we'll put on the the little sensors. So you're going to need a iron bar and a stair. So I'll put the stair in first. Now this is kind of like a larger antenna that I found on the plane. So for that, you are just going to come to the front. You're going to go you're going to leave these two and it's going to be right here and facing the other way, right there. And then if you come to the back, you're going to skip one. So from this slab, you're going to skip one, and then the iron bar will go right here. So I believe that is all the changes. Now, if you did actually want to add your navigation lights, you can put an item frame here and grab a green. You're going to have to grab green and red. And you, can put, you could put a green uh, block of stained glass in here in this item frame. And this is the only way you can do it. Now when I do build a larger aircraft they will actually have blocks for wings or they will have like they'll have more space to be able to do something like this so it'll be much easier on them but uh, this, since this is a really small little plane we just have to go with what works and then you could just place another item frame on the wingtip here and place a red um, stained glass here. So this will make your navigation lights so I believe that's actually it with the details. So now we are going to go inside and I will show you how to build the interior. Okay, so if we go inside of the aircraft, so this is what it looks like all empty. So this is actually how much room you get. And this is your cockpit. So because I, when I showed you in the tutorial, it was a full interior. So this is what it looks like when it's completely empty. So now we are actually going to build the interior exactly the way that I have it so you guys can uh, replicate it if you want. If you want to make your own interior, then go ahead and do that. Now, it also, different airlines do have different interior specifications and they all have their own ways of doing their interiors. Now on these little planes, they kind of look very, very similar with all airlines, so just maybe different carpeting patterns. But I'm going to build it exactly how I have it in this one, in the other one. So if we come to the cockpit first, uh, you're going to grab some crafting. You're going to need a crafting table, uh, black blocks, and spruce wood stairs. You're also going to need a lever as well. So if we grab a lever, place the door for now. So then what you're going to do is from this where you got your cockpit uh, walls, you're, you're going to delete this, and you're going to delete all this. And you're going to replace it with black wool going like that and then grab your door again and you're gonna place a door like this and then you can place your crafting tables just along the uh, like underneath the glass yeah and, and and just like the tutorial unfortunately it is very cramped in here it's just the way the plane is so then you're gonna place a seat here and you're gonna place another one up here so this is kind of like making a larger seat it kind of makes like a, a nice uh, seat setup. So you're just going to have a, a stair like that and a stair up like this. 
So it kind of makes them look a little more in scale with the actual person itself. So, so yeah, that's and then you can just place a lever here. Oops, at the shift, and then you can place a item frame, just like that in here. Now there would be more controls in here, like you know, the uh, angle of attack sensors and all that stuff. Or no, that's on the outside. Never mind. Um, you place like the gyroscopes, you know, like the where you would see when you steer the plane, it would turn and stuff. But um, unfortunately, you don't have room for that. So, so now that's the cockpit done. So now for the actual cabin, you're gonna place one stair here, and you're gonna place rows un up until right here. So, because this has to be a pathway for your lavatory, and then on the other side, you're going to have one right here. And then here, 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 here. And actually, no, I believe, we, if I go inside my other one, I just want to see how I have the interior laid out. Let's see. Okay, they're all like that. Okay, I, I, I did have it right before. So that, yeah, you're just going to place them all the way down. Now, unfortunately, this person sitting here will not get a window seat. So, yeah, that's a little... Uh, little disappointing but you know on these types of planes you wouldn't be on them for very long anyway so yeah there's your seats there you can leave them like this or if you want to make them look exactly like we did in the cockpit look a little bit bigger seats you could just uh, double the stairs up put an upside down stair you just have to go along the walls of the plane and put the uh, stairs here just like that so that's what it should look like and then what I just did is I just placed a blue carpet on the floor. Now you can literally use any other carpet you want, but I just basically all the way down, I just placed some blue carpeting. Like that. And then you're going to put a door right in here. And you can add another carpet there. This is going to be for the lavatory. This will be the final part of the interior build we'll do. So you're going to grab a cauldron. You're going to put some water in here. And you're going to put a trap door. So this is your little toilet. And then on the side here, you're going to put an item frame. And you're going to grab some paper for toilet paper. So there we go. So there's some paper. And you can just place some here, just like that. And for the, you can bring the carpeting as well into the bathroom. As so if you grab some carpeting, you can just put your carpet there. Now here, uh, unfortunately, you can't. Uh, dig down and place a uh, a block here, a blue block. So you're going to have to just kind of have the white for the door and everything. But yeah, you can go inside here and then that's your little washroom. And then there's your cabin. I don't know if these aircraft actually did feature um, I think they did have like, at least these like nets or something to put your cargo in, on f like for like onboard luggage kind of thing. But unfortunately this plane's a little small and you can't really do that with this thing, so. And in the tutorial it did show you how to make your actual cargo hold and everything, so I don't need to I don't need to go over that again. But uh yeah, so that basically finish finishes part two of the Beechcraft tutorial. So I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Hopefully this will give you this will upgrade your Beechcraft build. And if there's any other details that I missed or details that you want to add to this, feel free to. I mean, it's, you can do whatever you want with it. So just as long as you, you know, give me credit for the design if you upload it anywhere or make a video on it or something. Just simply link my channel or the build or something, the build video or something, whatever you want to do. But yeah, as, as long as I get credit for the design of it, you guys can use it for whatever you want. And... Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this little uh, tutorial, the part two. Uh, like I said, part three will come a lot later, and uh, I will be building some actual airlines. Like, I'll be making some color schemes and everything. So, yeah, so there is your much more detailed Beechcraft 1900D. So, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you have any build requests, please let me know in the comments and subscribe to see more of these cool and fun tutorials. And I'll see you guys on the next one later.